As Samsung builds on the success of the S24 launch and all of its AI features, it continues to provide access to the most current software upgrade, One UI 6.1. By making it available on earlier flagship handsets, more Samsung consumers may experience the possibilities of its AI features. Although the company hasn't been entirely transparent about when or which models will receive the update, new data suggests that many have been eager to download it. According to Samsung's Netherlands hub, more than 8.8 .8 million users have downloaded the One UI 6.1 upgrade since it was released in March for devices other than the Galaxy S24 series. Those who own a Galaxy S23 series handset, the S23 FE, Z Fold 5, Z Flip 5, or Tab S9 series are eligible for the upgrade. After downloading it, these phones gained access to Samsung's well-known Galaxy AI features. The company has set a target of ensuring that 100 million consumers have access to Galaxy AI by the end of this year. It claims that Chat Assist, Live Transcribe, Circle to Search, and Live Translate have been among its most popular services so far. The Galaxy S22 series, Galaxy Z Fold 4, Galaxy Z Flip 4, and Galaxy Tab S8 series are the latest smartphones to get One UI 6.1, with many of them receiving the update today in Korea. It's unclear whether any mid-range series will receive the upgrade, and Samsung has remained silent on earlier models as well. Given the complexity of One UI 6.1, it is not surprising that it will skip some of the models that lack AI capabilities. Let us hear what Samsung has to say about this. Exciting news for Samsung enthusiasts. According to a post on Samsung South Korean forum, the next wave of Galaxy devices is set to receive the One UI 6.1 update along with the Galaxy AI suite this May. The devices slated for this update include Galaxy S22, Galaxy S22, plus Galaxy S22 Ultra Galaxy Fold 4, Galaxy Flip 4, Galaxy Tab S8 series. These models will benefit from the full Galaxy AI suite and all its new features. Later in May, the update will roll off to other models such as the Galaxy S21 series, Galaxy Fold 3, and Galaxy Flip 3. However, these older models will only receive limited AI-related features, including circle to search and a feature for rewriting text. This rollout marks a significant enhancement in Samsung's interface, aiming to improve user interaction and functionality. Let's discuss what this update might mean for your device and your user experience. Despite the overall positive evaluations of the software upgrade, there are certain issues that people aren't convinced of just yet. For example, individuals who were new to One UI 6.1 recently discovered that notification channels were disable by default. While they may be turned back on, it's worth noting that these types of modifications may cause some users to wait longer to install the update. As a reminder, the Galaxy Ring will work well with the Samsung Food app, perhaps delivering healthy meal recommendations based on the user's fitness objectives. It will also aid with conception and menstrual health tracking. A built-in heart rate sensor will undoubtedly be included. This is standard for all of the finest fitness trackers, but the Smart Ring may also have more advanced capabilities like blood pressure monitoring and AFib detection. However, some of these may require FDA approval, which might take months or years. Of course, it may launch without all of its features activated, but the business plans to roll out enhanced tracking once it has cleared regulatory hurdles with the FDA. Fitbit underwent a similar process last year to get approval for its wrist-based atrial fibrillation detection tool. Finally, Samsung may introduce an ultra version of the Watch 7 series, which might have all of the capabilities of the Watch 6 presumably receiving a new chipset, resulting in speedier processing and improved power efficiency e-battery life. On the health front, the inclusion of sleep apnea detection in the next-generation Galaxy watches has been all but confirmed by a Samsung press statement issued earlier this year. Not yet confirmed, a blood sugar monitoring feature. But wow, would it be a significant breakthrough? Samsung has long talked about incorporating this technology into one of its products. According to the Korean language website Pulse, it could appear in the Samsung Galaxy Watch 7 series, based on words from a recent Samsung press release. However, take this report with a grain of salt, as non-invasive, wrist-based blood sugar monitoring is something of a holy grail for smartwatch manufacturers. If or when blood sugar monitoring becomes available, providing the function is accurate, the technology might be life-changing for the diabetic population, replacing or supplementing disposable monitors. Finally, the release of a premium, 
Modern Samsung Galaxy 7 Ultra Smartwatch this summer has the potential to shake up the smartwatch market significantly, particularly if it can compete with the Apple Watch Ultra series. Will the Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra's potential larger, brighter screen, longer battery life, new health tech, and connectivity with the Galaxy Ring be enough to persuade Galaxy Watch 6 owners to upgrade and or entice Pixel 2 watch users to the Samsung camp? We should know soon. So that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting updates on the latest technology. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.